Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up if you like this video. So today I'm gonna do a little um, Mr. Olympia update. I'm gonna give you guys my top five in the Mr. Olympia Open. And then I'm gonna give you my uh, top three in classic physique. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So this year has been a crazy year. Um, Mr. Olympia is usually held uh, mid to late September and um, it's been pushed back almost three months. So it is going to be December 18th when we have pre-judging. So next weekend, a week from today, well, actually in six days, we're gonna have uh, uh, the Olympia will be starting. So next weekend, yeah, you know, it's getting real close. It's getting exciting. Now we've had a lot of these guys, a lot of these competitors have been posting all kinds of physique updates, but the one, one of the biggest names that's not been posting physique updates is Phil Heath. So we have no idea what Phil looks like, um, but there's been a lot of, there's been a few interviews that Phil has done. There's been a lot of guys talking about Phil. So I wanted to jump in and give you guys my thoughts and my opinion on Phil Heath and all of the classic and all of the open uh, bodybuilding competitors. So, so let's start with Phil Heath. I think, I think he's gonna win it. I think he's gonna get number eight this year. And he's gonna be tied with Lee Haney and Ronnie Coleman for the most ever Mr. Olympia titles. And, you know, I don't think he would compete. And I don't think uh, Hani Rambod would put so much effort and energy into training him if they didn't think that there was a great chance that he could come back and win. You know, he's taking, he hasn't competed for two years. So, you know, he's had plenty of time off. He had a couple surgeries on his stomach. And that was really the only thing that was hurting was his midsection. And I don't know what it's like to have a hernia, but I can imagine kind of the pain that you feel when you have a hole in your stomach so when you're up there flexing trying to hit a vacuum trying to you know flex your abs I don't really see how you can even do that when you have torn muscles in your stomach so um, I guess he went through two surgeries he's doing great now he's injury free he's healthy I think he's going to come in and I think he's going to surprise us. I think he's going to look awesome. I know a lot of people are going to have high expectations for him and he's going to have high expectations for himself. I think, I believe he even said that he believes he's going to win. And that's, that's exactly the mindset that you need to have. And that's, that's the mindset that has carried him to seven titles. So I think he's gonna do it again. Now, the next four is gonna be tough, but um, I'm gonna go a little different from, uh, I think maybe Milos Sarshev said uh, something similar to my opinions, but I think in the number two spot, um, I think we might have Rami. I think Rami, I think Big Rami is gonna sneak into that number two spot. Um, I don't know if, I don't know if that striated glute picture was recent or, you know, but he just, I just saw a video of him training. He was doing uh, alternating dumbbell curls and he looks pretty freaking peeled. Like he's got, He's got veins everywhere, like big, thick veins running through his arms. Um, he looks really full still. 
and you know if he continues to cut down even more for this last week and gets dry I don't think he's gonna have any problem maintaining his fullness he doesn't need to because he's already the biggest guy on the stage so if he can come in peeled like I think he's finally going to he's gonna take second and I don't think he's gonna be too far behind Phil if he really comes in peeled but he's gotta I think he's gotta bring his quads down a little bit his legs are you know it's his legs are almost too big and they look it just throws off his entire physique you know it makes his waist it makes his waist look smaller but then it also makes his lats look smaller too because you know his quads pop out so far so yeah his legs are big but when you're up on stage you want the illusion of your upper body you want the illusion of your arms your shoulders your chest to be huge your waist to be small you want your quads to look big but i think his quads are just a little too big and they overpower his upper body so you know it sucks that he has to bring down a muscle but i think that's exactly what he needs to do is just come in shredded um take a little bit of that size off his quads and he doesn't even need to add that size anywhere else he just needs to come in shredded and come in with a little bit smaller quads actually you know make his calves a little bigger you know work on his calves shrink his quads a little bit and just come in peeled and he's gonna kick butt you know i think it's an easy second place for him if he can do that um so in third i think i think we'll have curry in third he's probably going to be improved from last year um he's got a good looking physique he's got a great silhouette like a good shape great structure big arms big shoulders um pretty good chest he's got a small waist um he's got a great v taper his legs are actually to me his legs seem better than what i've got what i've heard from a lot of people that that's been one of his biggest criticisms are his legs um i think his legs are pretty good pretty good size i just don't know about the detail and i don't know if that's something to do with like his skin tone or um you know it's hard to say because i was looking at pictures of him and phil side by side and phil just has like deeper deeper cuts and more separation in his quads so i don't know if that's just lighting or if that's just uh their different skin tone i'm not sure but that's something that you know might kind of hurt curry and um but yeah back to phil real quick that's the that's he's just when he comes in on i don't think he's beatable and I think Phil's gonna come in and I think he's gonna bring the heat. So, um, Phil one, Big Ronnie two, Curry three. Uh, four and five is gonna be kinda close, but you know, I think I think it might be Hadi Chupan in fourth. Um, you know, Bonac is good, but I think Hadi, he just with his conditioning and you know he just looks so muscular um you know head to toe he looks more complete i think than bonac and you know i haven't i haven't been looking at um updates on bonac's physique so i don't know what he's gonna look like but in my opinion i think hottie chupin is going to take fourth and then i think i think it'll probably be bonac in the fifth spot and then from there on i'm not sure i haven't i mean roley is looking good i just don't know if he can i don't i don't think he can get into that fifth spot now he i think roley is probably the best bet to hit that sixth spot so that's my top five, that's that's my top six right there so moving on to classic physique um 
I haven't been keeping up with all the other competitors, but I will, I will give you guys my top three and I might even throw in a fourth. So number one, you know, it's tough, dude. It's really tough. Cause it seems like the, the direction that the IFBB wants to go with classic is they want to go with a Chris Bumstead type of physique, you know, more of the, the more aesthetic shape, you know, wider latch, bigger V taper, a little bit taller, but you know, it's just, I gotta go, I gotta say that Breon is gonna win it. I gotta, I, I think, uh, I think Bumstead can beat Breon in a few shots, but I just, I, I think that Breon now, that he's doing the vacuums, he's coming in peeled. He is already so in shape that it's nuts. Uh, he's so muscular, he, he just, I know he does look like a bodybuilder, but I mean, you have to think about classic physique is you know classic physique is big lats you know big v taper big arms that's a bit that's a that's a thing that a lot of those classic guys had was huge arms and um you know bumstead just has that weakness his bicep is just his genetics are just bad on his biceps everywhere else is good his back is definitely better but I don't know, when I look at Breon, he really looks kind of like a, he looks like a Lee Haney almost. I mean, if you think about classic physique, yeah, Lee Haney was in the 80s, so he was just after, you know, the Arnold era in the 70s, but, you know, he was still not, he was before Dorian Yates brought in the, the giant, you know, the mass monster era, so. I think Lee Haney is still considered a great classic bodybuilding physique. And when you look at Breon, you have to you have to compare him to Lee Haney. I mean, they've got a very similar structure, huge arms, huge chest, awesome back, um, good V taper, wide lats. And, you know, now that Breon is hitting that vacuum, his waist looks tighter. He's he's gonna look a lot more like a classic bodybuilder instead of like a 212 bodybuilder. I think that's why they gave it to Chris last year is because Breon looked like a great 212 bodybuilder. But he just wasn't quite classic enough. I think this year it's gonna be a little bit different. He knows he knows what he did wrong. He, he didn't look classic enough. And you can tell in his physique updates that he has been working hard on it. And he looks classic AF right now. He looks awesome. No discredit to Bumstead. I think he's awesome too. But I just can't, like, I can't get, I can't, I can't give it to Bumstead after seeing what Breon is looking like. Because, you know, it'd be a little bit different if Breon wasn't looking more classic this year than he did last year. But I think now that he's, now that he looks more classic, I don't think, I don't see how you can argue against him right now. Like he's, you know, I, I just don't see how you can, you know, deduct any points from him at this point. I mean, he looks as complete as you can get for classic physique. So, um, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a battle. It's gonna be another close one, but I think it'll be Breon. I think Bumstead will take second, and third is just a toss up. You know, I don't know who's gonna come in third, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take a a little I'm gonna take take a little bit of a leap of faith here and I'm gonna put Wesley Vizzers in third because you know I don't know what his legs look like I know his calves look huge his calves look like his calves are massive 
So if that's indi any indication of what his quad development is, you know, because you, if you gotta assume if his calves are bigger than they were last year, his quads are probably gonna be bigger too. Cause he was clearly training legs. I don't think he's gonna, I don't see a bodybuilder of his caliber, you know, growing his calves, but not growing his quads that were already, his quads were already lacking. His calves are already good. Now those quad, his calves are even bigger. That would make an even more dramatic, um, that would make his quads look even smaller if he didn't um, increase the size of his quads. So I think his quads would be better. He's, he's, you know, he is as in shape as anyone else. Like, he, I mean, he's right there with Breon in, um, in terms of condition right now. So, you know, he is peeled. His back, you know, if you've watched some of his YouTube videos and seen some of his updates, his arms are awesome. He's, he's vascular as heck. He's completely shredded. He's got cross in his chest. He still looks big. Um, but he's been eating so low of carbs. I think when he refeeds, um, before the prejudging, I think when he carbs up, he's going to get back some of that fullness. Um, he is very, he's very talented. He's very skilled. He works really hard. Like he's, he's very precise on his diet. Uh, so I think Wesley you know, he just, he wasn't coming in as good a shape because, I mean, honestly, the, the guys back in the day, they were probably eight, they were probably 8% body fat um, on stage. And now you're looking at five, 6%, maybe even 4% in some cases. So uh, they're lean, the guys now are leaner. And, you know, Wesley came in at probably seven eight percent uh in 2018 and you know he got docked for it because um you know it's 2020 now so i think he's he's got the condition nailed he's way more shredded than he was in 2018 on stage and we still have a week to go so i think he's gonna take third and you know, another guy I've been watching pretty closely is Logan Franklin. He looks good. I don't know where he's gonna place though. Um, he, he's, you know, he's got a good vacuum. He's got wide lats. He's got pretty good big arms. You know, his legs are big. He looks good. I just don't know, you know, he doesn't quite look as shredded as some of these other guys. So I think he might come in a little bit just a tad bit softer than some of these other guys. Um, but he, he looks good. He's got wide lats, big chest, uh, good arms, uh, small waist. So I think Logan Franklin will do pretty well. I might be able to give him a top six, but I don't, I just don't know who's going to take fourth. So that's my top three in classic guys. We got Breon, then we got Bumstead, and then we got Wesley. So, you know, I might be a little biased too because I like Wesley. I'm rooting for him to do well. Um, I think he's got such awesome potential, and he's really bringing it this year. He looks, he looks like he's ready to go. So, well, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, Two twelve. I don't follow a whole lot. I, ha I don't know what any of those guys look like, but I would like to see Derek Lunsford win it. You know, he's he's a great bodybuilder. He's got an amazing structure. He's huge. Uh, he's always He always comes in with roundness and fullness. Um, he just needs to come in shredded, and I don't, I don't see how he can lose, man. But I don't know what the other guys look like, so. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know in the comments, guys, before you click off this video. Let me know uh, your opinions. Give me your guys' top five 
for Mr. Olympia. Give me your top three for classic. Maybe throw in a couple other, uh, you know, four or five. Throw in a couple wild cards in there, you know. Who do you guys think 212? Who do you think is going to win the 212 division? You know, let me know, guys, in the comments. And, you know, as always, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.